How's it going, everybody? Is it going well? Good. You guys cheering at home, too? Good. Probably not. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. We have Zach Exley, who used to be the chief revenue officer of Wikipedia. We're going to find out why he lives here. We also have the music of Sunset to Burns. Uh huh. Not only that, those guys are all great, but you can't eat them. You know what you can't eat? Cone chips. Have a look. Uh oh, there's a party going on in here. What's that? There's a party in uh -oh, here. Uh oh, don't break it up. Oh, hey. Hey, let's invite Mr. Ice Cream to the party. Mm, come on in, Mr. Oh, Ice Cream. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I thought Mr. Ice Cream. Now there's a party up here. Mm hmm. In my mouth. Uh oh. Well, I thought Mr. Ice Cream was going to try and shut the party down, but no. he wanted to keep going. No. I wish we could go to parties. Yeah, I wish people liked us. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh... mm -hmm. Hi, Dave. Hey, Jeff. You guys know my announcer, sidekick Dave Smith? Yeah. Dave, I got to say, that's a good shot of you over there. You like this shot of me? Yeah. Does it work for me? Yeah. Puff, it... puff out your chest a little bit. Yeah. Zero hour, 9 a.m. She packed her bags last night, pre-flight. What? And I think I'm going to be, you know that song? William Shatner uh, did the one song by Elton John, and he spoke it, and he was kind of doing this exactly what I'm doing. So you were doing William Shatner doing Elton John? Yes. <laughs> you, my friend, deserve a cone chip. Mm. I have them. All right, um, speaking of tasty things, mmm, things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed, these th Yeah. <sighs> Hi, guys. Uh, these are things I've noticed. Uh, you guys might enjoy some of these. Hopefully, they're better than last week's. I've noticed that I don't feel good about my chances of getting into the Optimist Club. <laughs> I've noticed that you can't dress for the job you want if the job you have requires a uniform. <laughs> I've noticed that Garfield hates Mondays, even though he has no job nor enrolled in any college classes. How is it any different than any other day? <laughs> Dave? I hate Mondays. I hate Mondays. Dave, can I say, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can I say that um, you look like a human Garfield? <laughs> I will take that and bury it. <laughs> That's how you do it. I've noticed that abominable snowman equals terrifying. Abdominal snowman equals only scary from here to here. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. <laughs> you think you can sculpt abs on a snowman? Yes, I do, if the snowman is ready to change. <laughs> and only Fair then. Enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've noticed that I bet dogs with prosthetic legs reassure each other that no one is above anyone else by using the old saying, everyone puts their legs on one pant at a time. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything to get in that one. Puts their legs on one pant. Oh. And finally, I've noticed that if you drive a really creepy van and someone gives you a weird look, just toss a newspaper out your window. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, man, I'm excited about what's to come. Because uh, last week, we decided that uh, it was time to embark on a new adventure. And so we decided it was time for me to go join in with the LARPers at Phelps Grove Park. <laughs> LARPers are live action role players. Uh, so here's a video of me joining in. We find ourselves in Phelps Grove, but more than that, we find ourselves in the barony of the Knoblands. Today, we'll be LARPing, live action role playing with other LARPers. Let's have a look. What's your name? I'm uh, Richard Naparowski, also known as Lord Loco Foco. Uh, Kodrin Cartan. Hey, Maury. Brodrin Fellhammer. Is that your given name or your game name? Game name. That's disappointing. So, how many weapons do you have on your person? Oh, right now, let's see, one, two, three, four, and uh, I'm not quite all the way loaded up yet. May I touch your tail? <laughs> Tell me about your outfit. These are called Thai fishing wrap pants. Yeah. You can actually take them fishing, tuck them up by the corners up here. Uh -huh. So when you're fishing, you grab the fish, take it off the hook. And stuff it in your pants, oh. which is an interesting sensation. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. A dwarf needs an axe, so I made one. <laughs> okay, okay, you did it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Good uh, thing you signed a waiver. <laughs> yeah, I did sign a waiver. I did. I'm gonna play uh, a little bit. What should I expect? Uh, expect lots of. Uh, Pointing, yelling, things being thrown, and getting hit. Oh, so, like marriage. Yeah, pretty much. You're gonna get hit a few times. You want to cover some of the lower regions, just in case. Yeah, yeah. Like the knees? Hit the other guy, don't let them hit you. That's all I need to know. Give me the purple sash! <laughs> I'm ready! I don't have a weapon. My battle name is Lord Locofoco. My battle name is Reggie from Come and Go. My battle name is Carl from the Streets. My battle name is Dr. Jerry Cash, orthodontist. He did my braces. I will feel victory if I can kill one person. Build a girl! <laughs> no! That was really fun, I have to say. Uh, yeah, if you guys ever get the chance, go hit each other with foam swords at... Oh no, they're here! <laughs> we'll be back with the band! watching on a special night because we have a great guest tonight and his name I'm not gonna tell you yet because we have a guest sponsor whose name is the skinny improv they, yeah the skinny improv has been around for like 11 or 12 years if you would like to see a show they have shows every Friday and Saturday night at 8 and 10 and they're free no they aren't <laughs> 
They're not free, but if you like funny things, if you're watching this and thinking, uh, this is disappointing, go to the Skinny Improv. <laughs> I, I, I'd make that noise as if I'm a ninja. What? I'm a ninja that can just move his neck fast. <laughs> I have to get really close to the enemy. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, our guest tonight uh, is the former chief revenue officer for Wikipedia. He was also a fundraiser for the Carry campaign. He's done a number of really cool things and been on real TV shows and stuff, and we're trying to figure out why he would come on this one or why he even lives here. So we're gonna find out. Give it up for Mr. Zach Exley. Zach! How you doing? This is amazing. This is all I've ever wanted. This is, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I mean, I'm done. Congratulations. It's only going to last seven minutes. You know what? It's going to be have, over in no time. We have eight. Eight? Yes. yes. All right. So let's cherish this yeah. moment. All right. Yeah. You know what? If someone said to me, if I hadn't met you, and someone said, there's going to be a guy on the show um, that w has worked for like an internet giant, I would pick you out. Because you got the hoodie, the t shirt. Like, you have the look. All right. But so does everybody in Springfield. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. So let's get, let, I want to find out about. Wait, Wiki first, yeah. since this is my one shot at this, yeah. how do you, you know, what's the right way? They all look like they take classes, you know, like when in they do Letterman and stuff. Like, in sitting? Yeah, like, you know. Yeah. Or like, I could be a hipster. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. All let's right. go with that one. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll both do it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah. It's, it's the towels that they give you so that you don't look yeah. too short. You know, it I messes have, you up. Yeah. I have the hips of an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is more comfortable. Uh, so what were you saying? Let's start at the end. <laughs> Why do you live here? So first of all, I live here because, well, first of all, I live in Crane, Missouri. Why do you live here? <laughs> yeah, Crane. <laughs> Crane, uh, Crane, Missouri, home of? The Pirates. Yes? OK, wow, yeah. You, yes, the Broiler Fest, yeah. The Broiler Fest. I was going to yeah. say Don Johnson. <clears throat> all, yeah, who comes to the Broiler Fest. Yeah. I've seen him there. Have you really? Yeah. That's cool. I couldn't get to him, you know, because he was there was like a lot of people. Security around detail. Him. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, no, but 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 you know, Springfield, like uh, I'm, not, you know, I'm from the East Coast. I started out as an East Coast, you know, liberal, and then I became a East Coast communist, and you know, I was like a radical. I worked as a union organizer. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was trying to change the world, and uh, and then you know, got into got sucked into democratic politics. So I'm getting to Springfield, mm -hmm. and and then you know, and then I became a Christian, mm -hmm. and I dropped out. Yeah, I know. See? Yeah, and um, and now now he's like, oh no, <laughs> he, this dude has come to like preach on my show. No, no I know you're doing know. great. And you're so then, uh, but then you know, so I got out. You know, I got out of politics and sort of headed for the Midwest because when I worked as an organizer, I had lived in a ton of cities like Springfield. Okay. And oh, I wait, really, cities like Springfield, like really yeah. cool metropolitan. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point. Springfield and cities of this size are the most cosmopolitan cities in the world. Really? Yes. Uh, how so? Because in San Francisco, where I just lived for three years, uh, everybody lives in their own little subculture. Oh, yeah. And they never talk to anybody outside of their tiny little subculture. Right. And I've lived in, I've lived in L.A., and it, it yeah. is remarkable that you... You work, then you get in your car, and you go to your place, and you don't interact with many people. And everybody you deal with is exactly like you. Yeah. And so in Springfield and cities like it, uh, you know, cosmopolitan means, you know, there's lots of different, you know, you're, you're open to all different kinds of things. You're exposed to all different kinds of things. And so in Springfield, 
uh, you know, we all deal with everybody, right? The, the Christians have to deal with the non-Christians. Uh -huh. The, you know, the, uh, there's immigrants from all over the world. There are refugees from all over the world. So what does a revenue officer do for a website? I, well, so Wikipedia is a nonprofit. Uh -huh. And uh, it's... By the way, have they ever estimated how much money they can make if they just had a few ads? Ads, like yeah. billions. Yeah, yes. right. Yeah. So, but uh, that's what they say anyways. But yeah, it's 500 million unique visitors per month. Uh, you know, it's like a few billion page views a day. Basically, the whole planet is using the site. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody with internet access anyways. And um, so, but it's a nonprofit. It committed to being a, a mission-driven, you know, nonprofit mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be influenced and wouldn't have to sell its soul. That's really cool. It's really cool. It's the most beautiful, I think it's one of the most beautiful things in the world, actually. Yeah, that's, it's neat that they've, they've had to resist for, for quite a while. Like, yeah. we're an accidental nonprofit at the Mystery <laughs> Hour. Right. <I> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I would happily sell out. Yeah. But it's, it's neat that, that, that you all stuck to that and... Well, you know, there was no other way to do it because Wikipedia is written by volunteers. Mm -hmm. It's all volunteer created. And so the volunteers aren't going to do all that work if then, somebody's cashing in up at the top. It just wouldn't work. So that's one of the reasons, you know, not to do yeah. it. There's a bunch of others. But so, yeah, so my, you know, yeah, like I, I worked in, uh, I, I ran the internet campaign for John Kerry, which mm -hmm. nobody remembers because then Barack Obama came along. <laughs> but, we, but we actually raised $125 million for John Kerry, wow. which gave him parity with Bush. You know, mm -hmm. like Bush had all this corporate money. Kerry was going to have, you know, half as much as Bush, and we made that up with all that money Grassroots. on the internet. Yes, yeah. it was the first time that happened, really. And so, and I worked with the Dean campaign before that. I did other stuff, moveon.org. So I kind of got into this internet fundraising thing. Mm -hmm. So Wikipedia needed somebody to do that for them. They had, they had just been surviving on grants, and the whole thing was kind of falling apart, actually, because the volunteers are great for writing the articles, but mm -hmm. how are you going to run this website that needs to serve yeah. 500 million people? So yeah. they actually needed to hire some people. Because okay. like literally volunteers were running the website. Really? Yeah. On the back end, it was yeah. not just people making no, the like entries. The, the backup for the whole site was on some guy's laptop in London that nobody had ever met. No yeah. way. And that was just like four years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like five years ago now, I guess. So six years ago. So kind of flies. what your job was to, to stabilize so, it and be able to hire. And... Yeah. So, so you know, I, I brought that stuff that we had learned in politics and we just tried it out. And we just, you know, we were just asking the people that were using our site, hey, would you pitch us five bucks? And we, we A-B tested, you know, we experimented with different ways of asking. Mm -hmm. We went through thousands of different ways of asking. And now they're all set. They can raise as much money as they need up to, you know, six, they're, we're raising 60 million a year. And so Wikipedia is safe and healthy. Yeah. Yes. So that and it, makes... And how many people here have donated to Wikipedia? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody's hand went up. It was amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> it was so, amazing. So, that, so begs thank the, you. that begs the question then. Yeah. <laughs> Can I hire you to get sponsors for the Mystery Hour? <laughs> well, you know... I'm, I'm really good. I have this very specialized skill that if you have millions of people going to your website, I can raise you tons of money. So, yeah. <laughs> Zach actually, everybody. There he Thank is. You. We'll be right back. Stay where you are oh, yeah. with Sunset to Burns. Tonight's musical guest is brought to you by School of Rock. Welcome back, everybody. Boy, we missed you. Hey, uh, to my left, we have a great band, and they are going to wow you. Give it up for Sunset to Burns.
horses and all the king's men Couldn't put me back together again And you're just a picture and I'm just a stone So leave me in love You're just a princess that's up in the tower And I'm just a prince that's bringing you flowers And you're just the sunshine and I'm just the rain I'm going insane I'm going insane And ask you if you have any woo -hoo. But guess what I'm doing? I'm playing your fool. And you're just too old, but I'm a house of hay. Hey. So blow me away. Just a mouse that's blinded by fate. And you're just a rabbit that's late for a date. And you're just a girl that's far from home. home. There's no place like home. There's no place like King's horses and all the king's men. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. These guys, they're for real. Hey, that's all the time we have, everybody. Just want you to know that 10% of our box office proceeds tonight will go to a great international aid organization called Dusty Feet that's lo located right here in Springfield to help folks in Kenya. That's all we got. So have a good rest of the night. <laughs>